Yo, what is up guys, Sam Pack here, back with another video, and today we're gonna take a look at an iconic keyboard with a modern twist, the Jane ME. So if you've been in the keyboard hobby, you already know what the Jane is, but if you're new, the Jane is an end game keyboard for the most of us, and it's designed by a guy named Sam, aka Yuktis, aka TGR. The older versions of these keyboards, which are the Jane V1, the V2, the V2 CE, they can go from about two grand or even higher depending on the condition and color. And obviously for most people, they're not gonna be paying that much for a keyboard. So why is this keyboard so sought after? Is it hype? Is it the best keyboard out there? And to me, the best analogy I can think of in sneakerhead terms, this is the Jordan 1 of keyboards. It's iconic, memorable, and paved the way for the standard of today's keyboards. I'm not saying this is the first keyboard to be designed like this, or it's even the first mechanical keyboard either, but it's the keyboard that inspired many that we have today. And the Jane was also designed because of an inspiration of another board, which is the K-Mac. And so back then, the keyboard hobby wasn't that big, and so the group buys and private runs were fairly small, so that's why there were not many out there, hence the high aftermarket price. So Monarchy teamed up with TGR to release the in-stock raffle for the new Janes. And so far they've come out with this Suave Blue, Silver, and recently they did a drop of the Crimson Red color. And they also released the 910 along with the Janes. So now that you guys have a good little background behind this keyboard, let's dive into the keyboard itself. So the kit comes with this really nice blue carrying case. It's Monarchy's Caban carrying case with TGR logo on it. And here are the PCBs designed by Kopi Bang. This also comes with a plastic tool for the back weight, an o-ring if you want to try that mounting style as well, and the feet. So let's get into the design of the keyboard. From the top down, this keyboard almost looks identical to its predecessors, but there's a lot of things that were changed in the board. You got the famous TGR logo right above the arrow keys that everyone loves, the iconic Toblerone weight which looks amazing with the Jane logo on it, and the two-piece split top design is back as well, and really digging this side profile. So this keyboard comes standard with a polycarbonate plate, but if you don't like PC plates, you can use this Kaze aluminum plate which fits perfectly in this board, or you can cut out plates yourself since TGR provides the plate files for you so join their discord for that this board can either do top mount or o-ring mount depending on which you prefer there's now a USB-C cutout instead of mini USB since it's becoming a standard these days the back piece is now magnetic instead of screwing it in which I really think it makes the board look a lot cleaner the installation is a lot easier but just be careful the magnets are very very strong don't try to take the back piece off with just using your fingers this is why they added that plastic tool for you and the biggest change that I noticed is that they removed the back weight in the ME. Some might like it, some might not because people have argued that the ME sounds kind of flat and not enough resonance in the board. So I got three Janes here, one built with a PC plate with MX Browns, the other with aluminum plate with BCPs, and I got a Jane CE with MX Blacks with the CF plate. So here's a sound test of all of them.
So I did notice the Jane ME does sound a little bit more damp or flatter tone than the original Jane's. I think the combination of the aluminum plate and long pull switches might not be the right config for this if you want that clacky sound. Granted, also I did use PBT keycaps in the sound test, but since there's not much resonance in the ME, you kind of have to create it by using a lighter plate material. So I think that's why they probably chose the PC plate to be a standard uh, for this board. I've also listened to sound tests that had the polypropylene plate as well, and that config sounded a lot better too. A lot more clackier and poppier. But in terms of typing experience, the ME and the older James feel very similar. I think a lot of people will enjoy this board more because it's more accessible to the public, but I know there's OG collectors out there that the Jane V2 is still gonna be king, and personally, it's still my favorite as well. So if you guys missed a couple of the raffles in the past, don't sweat it. It looks like Monokey is going to be constantly doing in-stock raffles for this board along with different color releases and as well as the 910 with it as well. So don't forget to join Monokey's Discord to enter these raffles. But that's it for this one. What do you guys think of the Jane? Is it overrated? Are the older Janes better? Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. And thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out guys.